update on the keyhole garden. If you look at that pile right there, my mom's gonna show you the wood. Um, if you wanna span over mom. That's the pieces after I cut them into two foot sections. And then over here, what I'm doing is I'm taking pipe strap and just screwing in two holes at the top, two at the bottom. Don't pay attention to my carpentry skills. I've never done anything like this before. So I know there are imperfections and, but I'm using what I have at the skill level, level that I'm at now to make this keyhole garden bed and I'm making progress, but I think we're gonna have to call it a day because there is a storm rolling in. I can hear the thunder. Um, it's very humid out here. I can feel the, the storm is about to come. So I'm gonna get this stuff covered up and then I will give you guys an update as we go, maybe tomorrow morning, um, if the rain holds off or if it passes through quickly and I can get back to work today. Bye. All right, so here's what we've done. So I had shown you guys a couple days ago that I was putting the pipe strap on each piece and putting them all together. And I'll, I'll have pictures right before this that I'm gonna share where it was all rolled up on the ground and how it looked. But this is all one piece that the pipe strap, we ran together, we unrolled it, positioned it. And then the center um, for the basket, I need to cut off that other plastic pieces. But um, all I did was I took a big tomato cage and attach the wire to it because initially when I was using the wire, it was too flimsy. And um, normally you would use like hardware cloth or wood or something, but again, we're using what we have and working with what we have. So the next step will be to fill this. We've got um, bags of organic material here, cardboard. We've got stuff from our compost pile, all that we're gonna layer in here. And I will update you on that process as we finish. But again, the whole point of this was that we needed a raised bed in the new space since we had moved the chicken coop so our garden was no longer usable the way it was. Plus, we'd had an issue with vine borers and so we were trying to resolve that. And we wanted to try the concept of a keyhole garden. So everything that we're using here is stuff that we either had on hand or minimal expense. Um, all of the wood was given to us by a client of ours with the landscaping that was taking down a tree house. And so we repurposed all the wood for this. Um, the chicken wire came from another project that we had on hand. The same thing with the tomato cages. We already had that. The only thing that we purchased for this project was the pipe strap, which was, I, I don't know if I remember right. It was like $12 or something like that on Amazon for a hundred feet, feet of it. And so I just needed one roll of that and then two boxes of screws. And that was it. Every other expense with this, um, was repurposed or recycled material. So it was a definite cost effective project. Um, but I can't wait to see how it all comes together as we get it finished and then planted. And so I will update you as we, we go.